Hey there, YouTube. Uh, we have a new release of uh, Nopix, and it says right here that Nopix 24.1.15 has been released. And going off of uh, DistroWatch, we read here, Nopix is a Debian and Caddy Linux-based distribution which can be run from a DVD, USB, thumb drive, or from a local drive. The project's latest release, Nopix 24.1.15, focuses on polishing the XFCE desktop experience and making Tor networking more accessible. So we have the uh, ISO downloaded in the virtual machine. So let's head on over and take a look at Nopix. And here we are on the virtual machine. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on the install Nopix, get it installed. And it says attention, untrusted application launcher. So we're gonna launch anyway. And it opens up the uh, Calamari's installer. So we got American English selected. Click next. Uh, my location is uh, Los Angeles. Click next. Uh, keyboard layout, English, default. Click next. Then I'll select the uh, erase disk. Click next. Then I'll enter my user info. And give it a complicated password. And I'll select login automatically for ease of use. Get an overview of what's going to happen. Click on install and we're off to the races. So while this is installing, I'll go ahead and pause the video. And when we come back, we'll be ready to reboot into Nopix Linux. All right, the installer has uh, completed its uh, job. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, reboot the system now. All right, so the display is now fixed. So uh, let's take a look at the system now. So this is Nopix based on Debian, and it's, uh, it's like Kali Linux. It's a security oriented uh, distro. So uh, you have your pad on the bottom, got your system tray on the right, pin applications on the left, and your menu launcher. And this is your menu launcher right here. So here a menu launcher is the uh, whisker menu, but it's modified to the uh, the way Nopix likes it. So we have our uh, accessories, development, education, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, other, settings, and system. Then you got your folder layout here. And now you also have a link to software, a link to settings, and your Nopix appearance. All right. And then on the on the desktop, you have a couple of uh, icons here. One says Nopix, the other one says install, but uh, we've already installed it, so I think they just didn't remove it from the installation. But uh, it is installed. You can see when I click on this, it has my username right here, so it confirms that it's installed. But uh, one of the things I want to take a look at is uh, I'm open up Firefox. Then I'll go to DistroWatch. All right. So right here on the uh, DistroWatch, it says that our XFCE edition features a traditional desktop layout with the bottom panel and whisker menu as the application menu. It is using the Colger GTK theme, Vince Luisi, I believe, with the Papyrus icon theme for a sleek and modern look. Bloomman comes installed for all of your Bluetooth needs. The implementation of the Nopix AI installer is, all, is completed too. You'll be able to install hundreds of AI tools with the one click option. That's something that uh, kind of like piqued my interest. So I wanted to see what this AI installer is and actually what it does. This edition has taken a lot of work and we were, and we are excited to share it with you all. To earn its privacy credentials, the distro routes all internet-bound traffic through the Tor Anonymous Network. Earlier, the distro used the launcher script to fetch the latest Tor release from the internet, but now bundles it by default. All right. So let's take a look at the about and see what version of uh, Firefox we're running. It's ESR, so it's 115.6.0 ESR. Oh, ESR. And it's 32-bit, so it's kind of on. 32-bit system. All right. 
now let's see what our software manager is going to open up. And it's just standard software. And we're down on the software catalog, so this might take a little bit. And let's see. It looks pretty empty, so let's check to see on what's installed. And right here, just gives you a list of everything installed on your computer. It's not much. And we do have an update available, system updates. But uh, we're not going to do that right now. And, and if we're doing the belt, we get the known project software, 43.5. And let's see, do we have a terminal? Should be in the system. And there's the XFCE terminal. Make this bigger. Check out the about real quick. XFCE terminal 1.0.4. Go. So, and let's see if we have HTOP. We'll clear that out. Take a look at NeoFetch. And we are running Nopix 24. And it's running on the kernel 6.1.0. And then desktop environment, XFCE 4.18. And we're using the Zarin Blue Light theme. And our CPU, which is basically our main system, but we also have right here memory. It's using one gigabyte, little little over one gigabyte out of uh, four gigabytes. All right. So I guess uh, we want to look for this AI tool. So I'll search AI. I'm not finding nothing. Or there's a. All right, I'm not finding the AI tool. So, what happens when I click on Nopix? It opens up Dunar. Setup.exe isn't that a uh, for Windows? All right, not really sure what that is, but since we got Dunar open, we'll do it about. It's four point eighteen point four. And that's Tunar. Wonder if I do a search in here for AI for the fine thing. I guess AI is kind of a, a very small condition to do a search. It's gonna find a lot of stuff. So I right, that wasn't a good idea. All right, maybe if I would just open up a web browser and do a search. Mopix AI tools. All right, Noptix 24.1, it makes bag of iterations and setbacks. Powered by Debian 12.4, Noptix 24.1, the rise with a focus on the security. AI functionality, XFC, and tracing the roots. Light, highlights, main features, too much and not an anonymity, and AI. The Nopix 24.1 strongly emphasizes privacy, but unfortunately some features don't work soon. This release integrates Tor by default, removing the earlier practice of using a launcher script to fetch the latest release. The distribution includes a Tor browser and specialized tools for the Tor network, like the anonymous file sharing program OnionShare and the Ricochet Instant Messaging Client. At the same time, if you use the Start Anonymity option built into the Start menu, all internet-bound traffic is routed through the Tor Anonymous Network, enhancing user anonymity. So far, so good, as long as stop anonymity works. But during our tests, once the, anon once the anonymization started, the only chance to stop it is in front of the terminal using the sudo nopix shutio stop command. In other words, nopix 24.1 you can run global global anonymization. This allows you to surf the web using the Firefox browser, for example, by utilizing the Tor network. All right, let's get to the AI part. 
All right, here. Finally, we explore another key feature of Office 24.1. It's artificial intelligence capabilities. Additional shifts with the so-called Nopix AI installer, simplifying the installation of hundreds of AI tools with one click option. It's about Pinocchio, a, bro a browser that lets you install, run, and automate any AI applications and models automatically and effortlessly indeed. So Pinocchio, is that what I'm looking for? Pinocchio? Okay, what the fuck is Pinocchio? It's about Pinocchio, a browser. Okay, let me ask on there. Internet. Ah, uh, you guys are gonna laugh at me and say that I'm reading it all wrong, but I'm looking for Pinocchio. While AI is gaining significant attention in the past couple of years, its integration into Linux, into a Linux distribution doesn't align closely with the needs of the typical computer user. Moreover, it bears little connection to that enhanced online anonymity. The cornerstone of Nopix design and purpose. What a case. Okay, I'm reading everything right here that's supposed to be. What's new? The new Nopix edition includes. Okay. Is it going to be in Nopix security? Privacy? Inversion details. Just going to read details. Secure site not available. Continue to HTTP. Tweet a freaking lib. Lib Central right here. So there it is, Pinocchio. So it should be part of this system. Well, let me open up the terminal and see if that'll open up Pinocchio. Chief, no, ego. Okay, let's try. So go app install Pinocchio. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to look at this video and laugh at me and say, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. But the whole point is that, you know, I'm coming at it from the point of view of a new user. A new user would do the exact same thing that I'm doing, and you would see that it's telling you to use Pinocchio, and Pinocchio's not found, so. Anyways, for all you uh, super Linux experts, just... Get down in the comments and just tell me where it is and what I need to open. Instead of being sarcastic and telling me that I should have did this and should have did that, just tell me what to do. And uh, I'll do it. All right? Simple solution to a simple problem. Anyways, this is uh, Nopix Linux. Uh, it's, like I said, it's uh, it's based on Debian, and it runs with uh, you know options like Kali, so it, it could be a rescue CD. You can use this for hacking. Things like that, penetration testing, and it routes all traffic through the uh, Tor network, so it gives you an, an, an anonymity. So uh, if there's something you want to take a look at and uh, explore yourself, I'll have the uh, links down in the video description. All right, that's going to do it for this uh, overview, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. And I'm out.